dear learner in this lecture we'll go for some important check because after analyzing our structure we have to go for some important check as per our code but before starting check we have to change our story uh, level or we have to change our uh, sequence of a story because when we'll go for ascending i'll just unlock it when we'll go for ascending and descending then uh, maybe we'll not get exact data as per our requirement so for that i'll right click here modify story data and see uh, if, if i click here if you hear then uh, we have defined a story for uh, we have defined for 15 story building but if you start arranging data then you may face a problem which types of problem after nine if you go for uh, as uh, ascending or descending position then uh, after nine or after one you will get one on or on zero then on two in this way you'll get th that data uh, in this situation will not be okay so what we can do we can uh, do something different like uh, this will be base no problem c then we can go for f1 like that f2 then f3 f4 f5 f6 f7 f8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 now after f9 we'll go for what is the next digit after f g we'll go for g suppose we'll go for g 1 okay then if we go for g on and when we'll go for ascending and descending our that uh, position will be okay then we'll go for g2 c3 uh it's not that you will take a uh, f or a f g series you can take any series actually you have to maintain the sequence nothing but it five that's it okay now we all set b then c then f then g G1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then refresh. Okay. Refresh. Okay. And we'll go for analysis. And then we'll go for our history displacement check. Here, I'll use this Excel sheet. This Excel sheet has been created as per ASC 7010. Uh, so, if you need the update updated situation then you are also able to change it now see uh, actually what we know the soil limit or displacement lateral displacement limit is l by 500 as per code or l by 400 to 500 so we'll consider for maximum okay we call consider for maximum and i have created that excel sheet for l by i mean uh, what is the meaning of l height of the structure divided by 500 okay so uh here i need the data a story data in meter then displacement in millimeter only the two data we have to provide and here the story name okay i'll go to our structure to get the data i'll click here display then uh, okay before no problem from here we'll be able to do it T take it then show table uh, if you come here from the table also you are able to get your data okay but i'll take that data from here display then history response plot and if you come here 
and display type from here you have to select so we want maximum s3 displacement i'll click here and uh from here combo i'll take actually as per our code our s3 displacement or soil limit uh should be calculated as per wind load okay as per wind load but uh, for your co code if you if you have another uh, criteria for another combination you may able to do it so here and set a step number we have uh, for wind load we have 12 a step number so this is for one and if you go for uh, 12 enter and this is for 12 okay now uh, you have to check for all a story okay you have to check for all a story now I, I, i'm taking for a step number two but you have to check for a step number one to twelve as we have 12 step how i have uh, understand or from where i know that we have 12 step number if i go here then um, our load pattern then if we go here for win load modify sorry see here if you click set we have 12 set okay from 1 to 12 clear so uh, for your case you have to check for all step now i'm just uh taking for step 12 or any step as per your requirement now i'll click here for formatted data and uh, from here i will click that option to change it and now see i'm getting data from uh, cf2 ls Control c then come here and Control v right click paste that data as a this option now see this is our ground floor then on to three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve fourteen and terrace every sequence are okay but if uh if if you if we would not change that sequence or that number then maybe we'll be not will not get data data for ascending and descending situation and uh, i'll will take s3 height so from here uh, we'll take this s3 height here given in feet so i'll take that data from here copy and i'll come here from feet to meter i'll just take that data here and see here feet to meter copy and take your data here then we'll go for displacement in millimeter so i'll go to software and here displacement in x direction and displacement in y direction are given here so uh for who is data for who is just see here we are taking a data for wx so uh, i'll take uh, the displacement for x i'll copy it i'll copy from here and then i'll paste it uh, just go here from inch as the data in inch so from i mean here we'll change the data in inch otherwise if we face problem here uh, then we can go here uh, i'll just close it i'll go here unit and uh, go unit from from here you need to change your data displacement data traditional displacement is given in inch now if you need the data in millimeter okay you need uh, the data in millimeter then click ok and again click here a story response okay wait see now that this data is in millimeter i will just again click here show formatted data now see the wall data we have taken now it this is in millimeter i'll just click here and uh from that point to that point and copy it and i'll paste it here in millimeter okay. so now you can see that our height of the structure this is the height of a structure but our displacement is very low our displacement is very low as per our structure height our total height of our structure is almost 158 so if i go for calculator and um, at that height 158 
divided by 500 into 12 we will get we will get 3.792 inch displacement we, we have allowable displacement at that point okay we have allowable displacement in that point here okay and uh, that means if I click or if we convert that in millimeter so this is inch 25 25.4 our allowable is almost 96 mm but we are getting only 21 mm displacement oh sorry we have uh, done a mistake here here we have done a mistake this is uh, for our ground floor height this is our ground floor height but uh, here you have to write per story height not cumulative height so uh, if i just go here calculator and we know for our fd structure we have 10 feet height so it will be 3.04 that means 3 feet 3 meter and and this height and this height are same now see it's okay and here we are getting displacement very low and our allowable displacement limit is 93 uh, point something if you are not seeing or color okay see 93.75 at top story 88 for that story but uh, we are getting very less displacement now why we are getting that getting uh, these types of displacement or very less displacement because we have provided uh the strong column also we have two lift code in inside of our structure that's why we are getting the huge displacement we are very less displacement here okay so uh if you need uh, you can change the column thickness or column size as per your requirement after uh, your final analysis so uh, in this way we are able to uh, check our displacement or soil limit so for your case you can go for earthquake you can go for wind load as per your requirement thank you thank you very much we'll uh, go for another check in our next lecture